Hi guys, Steve Caposi at Steve Caposi's Campcraft here in Thailand. I've got my experimental base camp, so to speak, out here at the back of our land. It's where I do experiments, bushcraft experiments and so forth. This is where I made my char cloth in a bamboo container. Those videos are already online. You can see how we had a storm come through. It's still the end of the rainy season. We had wind and it's torn down again. What we did was we got these bamboo poles and just sharpened the end and just hammered those into the ground. And you can see how it's ripped out whole roof stripped down again. I'm going to show you in this quick video how to set posts properly into the ground so hopefully um, it won't, you know, your shelter won't get blown down like this. So stick with me and we'll have a go. We're going to have a look at how to set a post properly. Uh, when I say properly I mean, you know, without doing concrete and foot-ins and reinforced concrete and stuff like that. It's just a you know, a backyard style, bushcraft style um, post um, to make a shelter. So the first step is obviously to get your post. It's got to be high enough. Just make sure your post is long enough and you want to bury it. I mean look, all these are approximate um, dimensions. But don't forget, whatever post you have, you can't put that on the ground to see how high it is. You've got to put that on the ground and then come down from the top and say, right, I'm going to bury a foot into the ground, that's how high it is. So just be careful about how much you're going to bury. The key to doing this is to dig a deep, narrow hole. Alright, so I'm digging a nice, deep, pretty narrow hole. And that's what your um, post is going to go into. This is my post. It's going to be buried, what, about a foot, very approximately. It'll be about neck height. I've already got a notch at the end where I tied the cordage and the tarp to. So that's why I'm using it. I'm going to keep that notch on the outside, of course. And to dig the hole, and don't forget, be prepared to have a bit of time to do this. You're doing this properly one time. No mucking around. No stakes in the ground which are going to rip out the next time you have a storm or strong wind. To dig a fairly deep hole. It only has to be narrow. And in Thailand, we've got a perfect tool for that. It's like a spade, like that, on a long pole. This one's fully steel, so it's strong. Quite often you get this end part on a piece of bamboo, which actually I've got right here. You buy these spades from hardware stores, and it's on a piece of bamboo like that. I'm just going to use the full steel one. And I'm just digging down. At first, it can be used like a shovel. But when you dig in, it's just a matter of grabbing the dirt out with your hand. Wear gloves. Just like that, guys. That's deep enough. So once you've dug your hole, the next step is to prepare some sort of pounder. I'm using a piece of bamboo, fed cut off so it's flat. Some sort of stick, so you can pound the dirt down. That's a key step in this whole process. You want to pound the dirt down. I've got a skinny one here to get down down the bottom. I've got a, a fatter one here. So it just depends. It's got, it's, at first it may have to be fairly skinny to get right down there. You have to set your post in. So you put that in straight. And what you want to do, you put a bit of dirt back in. And this is the real key to making a good post. Just a bit of dirt. Then you want to pound that down. This is too thick. I'm going to find myself even a narrower pounder. Okay, I found myself even a narrower pounder. It doesn't matter how skinny it is. It just has to be a flat on the end. Just so you can pound the dirt down. Of course, the hole can be big enough, you know, to get your pounder in there. This is perfect. And you just want to pound down every layer of dirt. You just want to put a bit of dirt in, pound it down. That way you get it really compact. By the time you get up to the top, this thing is like a setting concrete. This soil here is nice red clay. 
that's a bonus for this. I mean, nice red clay, it's going to pound down. This thing is going to be set in concrete when I'm finished. Once it's pounded down, throw a bit more in. Try to break up the clumps. There's another layer. That's all you need. Pound it in. It's a bit of work, a bit of energy. But this is the proper way to put a post in. Unless you want to do concrete and so forth. Let's put more in. Break up the clumps, make it easier. That's it. Pound it in. There's no reason why you can't do that a bit. Pound each layer down. Next layer of dirt. It's already getting strong. It's not even half full. Pound that in. Next layer of dirt. Pound that in. I'm not even halfway and this thing is already rock solid. Just another example of why bamboo is such a great material. If you've got bamboo, you can do anything. It's the best natural material. You can see I already made char cloth in a bamboo container. You can boil water in bamboo containers. I've done that before, but I'll do a video in the future. You can build out of it. You can build a shelter, house, a raised sleeping bed. You name it. Bamboo grows quick. It's pretty much the only thing I advocate you can cut down to use. I don't advocate cutting trees down. It's not my style. But if you've got bamboo, grows quick, that's okay. More dirt in. And the, the less dirt you put in each layer actually is the better. To do it quicker, you put more dirt. But to do it better, less dirt each time. Found myself, I guess you can call it a proper baton. Even better. That's what you do, that's how you got to think. Always think to improve yourself. Think of better ideas. I get more weight as well, so this is perfect. This thing is rock solid guys, and I've still got... Oh, that much to go. And I've probably run out of dirt as well because I pounded that dirt back in. Next layer, let's keep going. This is ridiculous. Look at this. I've still got more to go. There's more dirt. I may have to bring more dirt in. Another layer. I can use my fatter pounder here. I just put every ounce of dirt that I dug out of the hole back on top. And I'm just going to give it a final pound with my fatter pounder. This thing's done, but I like to do overkill. That thing flexes like bamboo, which is a good thing. Modern construction actually consists of steel frame buildings which flex in the wind so they don't break in earthquakes and wind and so forth, bridges and so forth. Bamboo, hey, just perfect, just like a modern building or bridge. You can flex in the wind and not break. But that's in the ground like, like it's concrete. Just started my new post, guys. I'm just going to dig a hole. Straight down, about a foot deep. Just like the previous one. It's a bit of mucking around, but it's by far 
the best way. And these are the posts. That's the first post you saw me make. Solid as a rock. It's thin bamboo, so it flexes. Now flexing might be a good thing in the wind. So we'll see. The second post, done. The second post, I put a really thick piece of bamboo, even stronger. Still flexes a bit, but you can build a house on that thing. That ain't going anywhere. A foot in the ground, pounded down like, the, like you saw. That ain't going anywhere. Okay, Steve Capozzi again. Just a quick summary of my video on how to set a post properly and introducing my experimental base camp. And I'm just going to quickly go through the gear I used. I did use a this steel um, spade gizmo. That's the only steel thing technology that I used. I could use a sharpened stick. Maybe I should have done that in the video. I can do that next time. You can use a sharpened stick. It's going to take longer. I can't do it now. We're just about to pack up and go to Bangkok. So um, I use this steel spade. Potentially you can do it by hand with a sharpened stick. Maybe I'll demonstrate that in a future video. So apart from that, it was all materials I could have had out there in the field. Bamboo. I've got a saw in my pack always to cut that. I had my baton to knock down my pounders. And the pounders, I had two size pounders, a smaller, skinnier piece of bamboo, just to pound down the layers of mud, dirt in the hole, and a fatter pounder when you get to the top. So that was just a quick summary of the tools I used um, to set these posts into place. Okay, I hope you found this video interesting.